Hello and welcome in this very important lesson number 48 about the Maltese verbs in which we're going to see the verb to have. Now for the past 47 lectures, except, yeah, well, to be, it's maybe a little bit of an exception, uh, we've seen that we use the NTJT trick for the present tense. However, to have is an exception. All right, so, well, people always say, ah, oh, Maltese verbs, they have so many exceptions, but to have is one of the few exceptions that does not use the regular NTJT conjugation. So it's a little bit of a, well, study work for you. So I have, you have, he has, she has, we have, uh, you have in the plural, and they have. So that's it. Uh, let's read it. Andy, Andek, Andu, Anda, Andna, Antkom, Andom. Very important verb mm, used so often. Uh, well, in a lot of uh, dialogues, you will hear this this uh, this verb. Also important because the endings here i, ek, u, a, na, kom, om. They are the attached pronouns. So, for example, I say to you or I give to you, you would see the ending ek. I told him, you would see the end ending u. Uh, I um, asked them, you would see the ending om. So that's the personal uh, attached pronouns, not the personal pronouns, attached pronouns. Very important because of, because of that. Now the past tense, so I had, is, there you go. If you use the, um, the past perfect, so I had worked, I had uh, done, I had, uh, and so on, and so on, and so on, uh, then you would not use this one. You would use the past tense of to be. So that's kont, kont, kin, kinet, and so on, uh, from lecture number 21. So not this one. See here the base, and changes into kel, and that's the main difference. So that's kelli, kellek, Kellu, Kella, Kellna, Kelkom, Kelkom, uh, Kelhom, sorry, Kelhom. So that's for the past tense. Now, a future uh, tense, uh, well, it's a bit strange because it also means I must. I have to. So, well, let's see it. It's just the same endings. So it's just like kel instead of kel, it becomes ikol. See here that there's the ok, the ek changes into an ok, normal. Uh, if the um, if the attached pronouns, so for example, if I would say I tell you, uh, it ends with e, e k. However, if the previous uh, vowel is an O, it be, it's an O. So uh, that's just for your information. So I, I will have to, I must. That's ikolli, ikollok, ikollu, ikolla, ikolna, ikolkom. So we're going to use this in the next lecture. So now that we've seen how to conjugate to have, we're going to take this to the to, well to the next level, uh, to the next uh, lecture too. So make sure to see the next lecture very very quickly, lecture number forty nine.